Well, Al, first of all, congratulations. You said in your post-fight speech in the cage there that obviously teaming up in Team Habib has given you that extra killer instinct to go for those finishes. Just talk me through that. Is it a mental switch? Is it a physical switch? What's the thing that has just pushed you to now give us that extra 5% and a super entertaining fight this evening? Uh, honestly, like every camp you want to try to evolve, you want to get better. Like I was on an eight fight winning streak. I didn't need to go train with these guys. I, did, I, I was comfortable where I was. I have a great team in Chicago, um, but I was like, I want to be champion. I want to be the best in the world. In the martial arts game, you have to keep evolving and to get invited to train with the person who I think is the GOAT and to be coached by him. I was like, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. And then going over there, I'm like, it's another level. Like they have a huge group of guys and it's not even a team, it's a brotherhood of guys that just brought me into the family, uh, helped me out with so much. And there's guys, people don't even know their names, but they would come in and be ranked right away. So just learning from those guys, being pushed by the guys. Habib is the guy, type of guy that, like in the words of Islam, like Habib don't know tired. Like he, he doesn't train, so he doesn't know what tired means. Like we're dying, we're, we're draining. He's like, hey, all right, now one, like three minute planks. And I'm like, bro, like, what the heck were you doing here? And we're like, they're dying. And he's like, like, it, the best day for us was when Habib says, okay, tonight you rest. And then me and Islam would look at each other, give each other a fist pound. I was like, bro, it was amazing. It was cool. And it was a great experience to train with those guys. But that says a lot about your mentality as well. Because as you said, you're on an eight fight undefeated streak. Now, obviously, it's a nine. But you're, you had that eight. You, you, you could have continued as you wanted to do. So you obviously are still looking to grow. And you believe that there's still more inside you to show. Yeah, if you go, if you're if you ever get to the point where you're satisfied with where you are and you say that I don't need I can't learn anything else or I'm at the best, then you shouldn't be in the sport no more. Like I want to learn from all the best guys in the world, and I, every day I keep learning. I can sit there and watch a movie and pick up a, a martial arts technique from, you know, like a karate movie or something, and I'll just put it in my brain and like the words of Bruce Lee: take what's useful, throw out what's not. But like training with those guys, it helped me evolve so much mentally, physically, spiritually too, because. We're praying five times a day over here together as a team. We're all together. And then being in the, embracing the culture of Abu Dhabi for five weeks, it was being around my people, not having to stress. The, the mornings here were night in Chicago. And, and like, I don't have those people calling me every day, asking me, yo, could you come over here, pick me up from here, do this for me over here? And I was like, there's no stress. Like, I probably got so many text messages when I get back to America because my phone, it didn't work over here. So I'm like, perfect. I don't have to have that. Hey, what time's your fight tonight? Hey, you're on tonight. Good luck. You went from the people you don't even know, you haven't talked to in years, but they want to be like, hey, I'm supporting you. And you're like, bro be quiet you're a confident guy anyway but what does that now do for your confidence especially given the nature of that victory tonight it puts me on another level you know I just showed people this guy was 15 and old I was still an underdog these people still don't believe in me so I had to go out there and put on a finish put a stamp on it on the biggest card of the year on ESPN like it's monumental for me you've also done it in front of quite a few names in the welterweight division first and foremost before I come to the crowd Leon Edwards was in town obviously one of your former foes uh, you have Hamzat Chimaev, who's in attendance tonight. Shak uh, Shavkat Rachmanov was also here as well. They're all looking, and you made a massive statement in this division. Yeah, like I said, me and Leon got an unfinished business. I feel like that fight makes a lot of sense, especially, you know, Usman. Obviously, Usman, I think, deserves to earn the, the rematch regardless, but if he's going to take some time off, and, you know, you don't know how you're going to come back from that type of uh, knockout, like, take that rest and let me and Leon go at it, and then you could have next. Like, or if they have them two fight, I should have next regardless or be on a card right underneath them. The winner gets next with the Chamayev. And uh, just those fights make sense for me. Nothing below me makes sense anymore. Like, I fall below me here. I'm on an eight fight winning streak. I just beat a 15 and old kid. What else do you need from me to, for, for me to prove myself that I'm going to be a champion? So we spoke to Dana this week. He said that the rematch that you mentioned in there between Usman and Edwards hopefully will drop in March time in and around, hopefully in the UK, for our, from our point of view, that'd be fantastic. It would make perfect sense to have you on that card if something crazy happened to maybe one of them and they couldn't be in that main event that you could step in, but also to match you in a final eliminator against Hamza or someone like a Colby. Yeah, exactly. Like I've been asking for Colby for, for years. Uh, I've been asking for Hamza for the last two years, but for some reason they don't give me these fights. Uh, maybe after this knockout, I'll be getting a big name in front of me. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, I went to London, uh, the last card over there, the energy over there was electric, the people over there were, were amazing. So it would be cool to fight over there. I want to fight over there with that crowd. Just see, the energy in this crowd put me at another level. So, I mean, I'm sure I'll be, if I fight Leon over there, I'll be the, uh, the, the booed one. But I love the booze, I love everything. Well, the final one for me is about this crowd tonight. Obviously, you're in there, you're in the motion, you're doing your thing. But they were chanting like mad, man. They gave you some reception, didn't they? Uh, man, honestly, it was it was unbelievable. It was priceless. It's something that's gonna live in my memories forever. And uh, the gratitude that I have for these people, for these fans, is like it's it's endless. Oh, well done, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you.